Katie Bartoli and Sarah Bataglin have competed in every round of the Renault National Beach Volleyball Series and on each occasion have made it to the podium. They're a young and up-and-coming team who hope to make a career out of this fantastic sport. Katie and my goals are just to win one would be nice. We've got two seconds and three or four thirds. So to win a Renault Tour would be good and um, just to play professionally. Uh, eventually hoping to go play overseas, maybe this year play some Asian events. This series has brought these girls some great opportunities to play against some of Australia's top teams and they've used these matches to really develop their game. It's a really good chance for us to test our skills and where we need to move on into the next level. So those girls are, what, top 15 in the world. So for us to get there and get to 15 points and then to keep pushing them is a really good test for us to what level we need to move to. These two girls really work hard on the court, but realise it is important to look after yourself in the downtime. We asked the girls what their Garnier Take Care ritual was. Going to the beach, beach volleyball is a beach sport, so I just like hanging out at the beach. Lots of relaxing, eating, get really hungry from playing lots of sport, uh, lots of rest. Uh, yeah, just hanging out. Kerry, you've seen these girls training hard down at Manly Beach. They've got a lot of potential. Look, I have seen them over the years. I have had a little bit to do with them and they work so hard before and after work. They've both got full-time jobs, so they mix and match work with beach volleyball and they've done so well, so consistent this summer. Well, another team from Manly, Dean and Salisbury up against the full-time professionals, Palmer and Borden Women's Championship match. Well, this is going to be interesting because we've got the Polish professionals, the number one Australian team, up against the Manly girls, the part-timers, as we say, and they're really ripping some balls at them, making it tough. 14 points all now in the first set. Here's Lou Borden with an opportunity to crush one. Down the line, the power of Lou Borden is frightening. The Renault replay just shows the amazing athletic ability of this wonderful left-hander. Now she has a serve, goes all the way into block. Eliza Dean off the tape, but Bakara Palmer picks that up nicely, and this time just with a shot in the corner, that gives them a nice little lead for the first time in this set. This is Pip Soulsby serving. They've gone after the right-handed Bakara Palmer get into the net. What can the girls from Manly do? The rainbow is... Oh, just out for the New South Wales girls, and that brings up set point for Palmer and Borden. Big serve. Pip Soulsby has a go. Easily picked up. Palmer over the top. Oh, Pip gets it back at her. Second chance. Into the corner, and that's the first set in the bag. The Renault replay shows the girl from Adelaide, Bakara Palmer, just rolling it into the corner, and they put the first set away. So Soulsby and Dean deep in conversation, as are the number one seeds. Really need to come out strong in this second set. Palmer blocked. Girls from Sydney do. Eliza Dean in the back, she gets a point. Plenty of support for the underdogs. They're doing a great job. This is Pip and Eliza. Eliza looking for a winner. No block at the net. Bakara, oh, she's not blocked as well, but can't get the ball down. Can Pip Soulsby close it out? Is that off the block? They're celebrating as if it was. Yes, it was. On the Renault replay, the net cam is showing. Little tiny piece of Bakara Palmer's hands. And she's saying to the ref, see, I got a bit of that. That's their ball. <laughs> so the New South Wales girls, they're behind now, but they're looking to get back into this game. Windy conditions, which really favour the Manly girls. Pip Soulsby, nice swing down the line for a point there. And you can see the girl originally from New Zealand, Pip Soulsby, crushing it down the line. The defence was there, just couldn't get a hand on it. Lou Borden serving now, southern end. Here's Pip Soulsby. Over the top. Palmer gets it. Can Borden get it? No. Well, the number one seeds have really taken control. This is the championship point. Bakara and Lou for the win. Eliza Dean and Pip Soulsby, they can't get out of trouble. The number one seeds dominate the women's final. 21-12. And our professional number one women's team have done the job. Pip and Eliza just couldn't get the ball control down in the win. We really wanted to get that result, so we had to take that step back and put a lot of energy into how I have to do this to make sure I do it right. Gold medalist, Bakara Palmer and Louise Borden. Well, what fantastic action we've seen here from Surfers Paradise. Join us next week when Round 7 of the Renault National Beach Volleyball Series travels to Perth. Hope to see you then.